Hey everyone, how are you? Can you guys hear me on here? Hello, hello. My name is Kamala Larson. For those of you that don't know me, I'm a life coach and I'm in, I have my mental wellness business. And um, I just wanted to hop on here and say a few things about um, a transformation that I had. So are you feeling or have you felt in this feeling of you have a lot of negative chatter going on in your in your thoughts in your mind um other people really make you angry with their opinions and um you just have some of that pent-up anger in there hey chuck can you hear me <laughs> you see a little heart going up good job um so yeah just this feeling of that like are have you been one who um Hey Kelly, hey Mike. Just um, everyone is against you or you have this feeling, this emotion of scarcity. So um, what is, where does that leave you? It makes you feel depleted and sad and it's like a never ending constant internal self chatter. So I've been there before and um, what I have to say is that didn't leave me very it just, my energy is drained. I didn't feel very good. My anxiety levels would go up. My worry would go up. And it's like a constant never ending cycle that I was going through. And I just felt very alone, insecure. And I just couldn't imagine myself feeling that love or getting out of that, that state. So that state of that negativity, that state of scarcity, that state is where I let myself go. I believe in God. I believe in Christ. And I almost felt like God and I were were two separate things. It was just so separate until I started, once I had enough of feeling that way and I changed. So I changed and I looked at guidance from other people where they could help me and take me. I planned, I trained myself um, mentally, physically, I just kept moving forward. There had to be another way. And so I kept moving forward in my mind, in my thoughts. And at first it felt uncomfortable, but I had to practice just like I, I run, I work out. I had to practice that, that mind muscle. So I had to start to really look internally at love. Like I looked for God in there. I couldn't find God inside myself. And that is a really scary feeling. That's a hard feeling for anyone. And if, you, if you're there now or you've been there, you know if you're on the other side of that. But if you're in that position, I can take you out of that because I've been there. So now I see myself through guidance and this training that I've been doing, I can see God is within me. Him and I are one, we're together in there. And that feeling of love just washed over me. That feeling that um, of joy. On the other side of that, I have so much joy. I ran today and I listened and um, to another podcast that really gave me some good golden nuggets that I'm using in my mind. I'm training my mind to think loving thoughts. When I look around, I, I do a lot of vision. I look at the trees, they're so abundantly with leaves that's the same with us like we can have 60,000 thoughts in a day I hope I'm training my 60,000 thoughts to be really good thoughts because this is the only home I have it's just me in here so either I have to learn to love it and be honor it and be good with it because I've been on that side before that was not where I'm not at today so um it's just that that full love so I just bring that that to my heart center, I bring that inside me, I bring that in my heart, my mind, and I treat others with kindness, no matter what their opinion is, no matter what they believe, I still treat them with kindness because I know I'm gonna get that kindness back. I felt it now. I know what I put out, I'm gonna get back. So I bring value, I give abundantly over and above what I ever can imagine giving now. That love is so powerful is so, so powerful. It can cast out, it can shine. Hey, Brian, thanks for the video today, Brian. Hi, Nancy. I'm reading some of the comments on here. Hey, Frank, hey, Kyle. So that, that love and kindness, I just wanna be good, I wanna give good because I know I've experienced it, it comes right back to me. Now I see these people online and 
I, I'm in their same wavelength. I see their kindness. I see what they have to say. That's that love. That's all powerful. And it just keeps moving forward. So I think more than now than ever, we need to keep that in mind, that kindness, that love. It comes from God and God is within us. So it's, if you can just tap into that state, everything happens for you, not against you, not to you. It happens for you and that's so true. You are everybody pushed out. It's so true and when you start to speak these loving thoughts to yourself and to all those around me, you will be amazed, the people who start showing up in your life. Hey Frank, thanks for hopping on. Sorry, someone called, had to delete him. Anyways, so, um. Put a comment below if you've been there. If you're in that state, I'm willing and happy to get to know you and help you out of that state. I know how to do it. And if you are on the other side, comment below, um, send an emoji, send some hearts, send some love, just really show the kindness, shine it all out. And kind, 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 be good, give abundantly, and you'll be amazed at what we can transform this nation to becoming. Thanks, friends. We'll talk to you soon.